Do you have testimonial that's going to overcome an objective? What is the reason why people aren't going to buy? Because they have those points of pain, because they have this performance gap, they're afraid. Everybody that I've already worked with, with your type of company, they never get it to me on time. So what's your USP going to be? We're going to get it to you on time. And then the next step is to take these cards, shuffle them up, condense it into a slogan or a USP, something brief and catchy. And then you use that to differentiate yourself from your competition. And I know you don't have it finished, but if anybody has had a brainstorm in the last minute and wants to share, we can take that, certainly. This is going to be the kind of thing that you wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning with a really good idea. And uh, hopefully you all remember me and appreciate that, too. Okay, so now you know who you are and why you're unique. I heard a few things about your demographics, who you're trying to sell to. First of all, give me a couple of criteria. What are demographics? Age, Name, age, gender, gender, income, income. income. good, perfect, okay. Area. Yes, geographic, demographics, those are important. Education. Education, good, okay. So we won't spend a lot of time on that. Um, you get that, obviously. And why are they important? Why do you need to know who your customers are? Money. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, in all the marketing that I do, the definition that I ascribe to for the word marketing, I don't like the word advertising, but the word marketing is any communication that leads to a sale. So if you don't have marketing, you don't have business. If you don't know who you're trying to target, all of your marketing investment is going to be waste. You're not going to get a return if you don't know who you're trying to target. If you ever meet with a radio company, TV station, newspaper, you need to know this information because they'll have demographics. They'll tell you our average listener is 30 years old, they make $50,000 a year, and you need to match your demographics to the media that's going to market. And where do you get that information? So how do you know this information about your customers? How do you know how old your customers are, what gender they are? How do you find out? Research. Research. Sounds like you guys have been doing a lot of that lately, too. Um, yes, research. You can look in your own databases. There's a website that I like to use, city-data.com. It's a helpful tool. It will tell you, by region, all those characteristics of the people that live in that area. City data with a hyphen in the middle. Another tool that I like to use, I, I spend way too much time on Facebook. Because to me, it is one of the best marketing tools that are out there. When people are on Facebook, and you fill out that About section on your profile, what do you put on there? Your age, where you live, who your friends are. You put everything on there about yourself. What, as a marketer, what that tells me, if you like my business page, it won't tell me exactly each individual specific person, but it will give me information about the overall numbers of who likes my page. It's really helpful. If you don't have a Facebook business page, it costs nothing. Start one. If you can email, you can figure out how to do it. 